year 12s. Welcome to our double period, video one. Um, so this is a Thursday morning. And we're going to start with the worked example that we didn't quite get to finish yesterday. So we've got y equals a half log e of x minus 1 plus 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the same method that I did yesterday. I'm going to note down what my um, transformations are. And then I'm going to sketch by mapping my key points and my asymptote and finding any intercepts if I need to. So I'm going to start by going DRT. So dilations, reflections, translations. And I can see there's a dilation here. There's no reflections and there's translation here and here. So I've got a dilation by a factor of one half. And this is out the front of the log. So that means it's acting on Y. So it's from the X axis. Then I've got my translations. X minus one means I'm going to go to the right one. And the plus two at the end means I'm going to go up two. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my key points. My base is E. So my first key point, well, my first key point is my X axis intercept, which is one zero. So if I dilate that by a half from X, that's going to act on Y that's not going to change it, it's going to stay as 1, 0. If I then go to the right one and up 2, that means I'm going to add 1 to x and I'm going to add 2 to y, so I'm going to go from 1, 0 to 2, 2. Okay, um, now my other key point here would be E1, but I'm not going to do the dilation of that because I think I'm going to end up with an intercept, so I'm going to find that instead. So my x-intercept, I'm going to find by letting y equal 0. The light's not very good in here, is it? Well, I'll change it for the next video. OK, um, so I'm starting with, um, what am I doing? Let y equal 0. So I've got 0 equals 1 half log base e of x minus 1 plus 2. Now I just need to rearrange this equation. So first I move the 2. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this half here. So I have negative 4 equals log base e of x minus 1. Now I'm going to change my logarithmic expression or equation into an exponential. So I'm going to raise both sides to a base of e. So I have e to the power of negative 4 equals x minus 1. And that leads me to x equals e to the power of negative 4 plus 1. And we're done. Now I just want to check if I put this value of x back into the equation, is it actually going to give me a positive or negative value? If I put this back into the equation, e to the negative 4 minus 1 and plus 1 is going to end up with e to the negative 4. So it's going to undo what I've done. So that's all fine. So e to the negative 4 plus 1, 0 is going to be my x-intercept. So now I'm just going to sketch it. Oh, and my asymptote, sorry. So my asymptote is starting at x equals 0. And the dilation is not going to affect the asymptote. But when I move it to the right one and up 2, the up 2 won't affect it. But moving to the right one is going to change my asymptote to x equals 1. So my asymptote is here at x equals 1. And then I'm going to put in the points that I know. So I'll just put in my sketch of my graph first. And then I've got e to the, sorry, yeah, e to the negative 4 plus 1, 0. And up here I've got the point 2, 2. And I'm just going to look at my scale. There's x is 1, there's x is 2. I'm happy with that. This is probably, uh, it should be a little bit closer here, but that's okay. I'm not going to think too hard about that. Okay, that's the end of this video.